Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammers Hobbies. My name's Glenn and today we're gonna look at something a bit unique all the way from America and we're gonna find out if this box here could contain a certain driver's true rookie card. Let's get right in. we get into today's main video I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been smashing up the like button and also to the new subscribers to the channel we have actually hit over the 2,000 mark so thank you very much we also at the same time hit over the 3,000 mark on the Facebook group which is F1 sports cards and at the same time this literally all happened within a couple of days of each other we hit over 2,000 followers on Instagram so big thank you to all of you I really appreciate all of you Keep liking the videos, it helps share the channel. You can also check out my website, which is www.hammondshobbies.com, where you can purchase any single cards. I also have sealed product on there. And if you wanna take part in my breaks, you can head on over to Whatnot and search for Hammond's Hobbies there. In the description down below, use that link, you'll get 10 pound of free credit. Right, that's enough of me shilling my stuff. Let's get right into today's main video. And this box here, I actually bought from America on eBay and I had to wait for it to get shipped over here. So this is why potentially I'm a couple of weeks late talking about this set. So in America, they have a, a tradition which is a baseball day, like where pops, uh, release free packs to certain hobby stores like their selected hobby stores and give free baseball packs away they're doing the same again this year for 2023 apparently they always do it on in the month of august uh, but this year they're actually celebrating international cards so this set here is the international trading day card set what they're doing because it's an international set they're paying homage to loads of different sports rather than just baseball why is that unique to us i hear you ask well because they've included formula one drivers and potentially it has the first rookie cards for this year so let's get right into it and have a little look i've been waiting a long time to open this box up i've just been so busy with whatnot and the store and everything and I thought one day when I get a chance I'm going to sit down and I'm going to record me opening this box so I've left it and left it but now's the time so I I've not seen anyone open a box like this uh through YouTube so this may be the first but let's have a little look of what we get inside this international trading day specifically whoa, whoa. I think I've opened it upside down. So that's a good start. There we go, that looks a lot better. <laughs> so what do we get here? Now there's tons of sports in here that if I'm being completely honest, I don't care about. I only want the F1 stuff. So let's have a little look. I've never seen these being opened. So everything I'm about to see is for the first time. We've got a bunch of baseball cards here in a sealed pack. I think there's even an autograph in one of these of one of the players. I don't know. Again, we've got baseball cards. This one's got Mike Trout. Uh, but let's have a little look at the packs. Come on, where's the packs? We got Garbage Pal Kids. Oh no, these ain't all Garbage Patch Kids, are they? Have a look what we got here. Ah, here we go. We got Lexi Brown. So, this is we've got baseball, NFL. These are women's sports. Here, where's the F1? Still female, I believe. Oh no, no, we got NFL. So, again, I don't know what any of these are. We've even got uh, Champions League. I don't know if these are anything special or if anyone collects these. I'm going to have to send some messages out, see if anybody wants any of this. This whole box cost me about a hundred and... I'm going to say £150 for the whole box. 
I only wanted it for the F1. Now you might think, well, Glenn, why have you paid that? You can just buy them singly. People on eBay are selling the individual. Uh, there we go. Hey, F1, finally. <laughs> so we've got a little pack here with Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, Charles Leclerc. And there we go. There's the main man. So the reason why I wanted this sealed box is because, oh, we got two the same there. Oh, maybe they're random. I thought it was like a set amount. Like you get the same no matter what. Oh, that means we might not be able to pull 20 of them. God damn it. What else we got? We've got more baseball, baseball, baseball. <laughs> not interested in baseball. If you're interested in any of these packs, drop a comment down below. I'll see if I can get it posted out to you. I'm not making no promises, but I'm here just for the F1. Let's open this F1 stuff. So if you want to buy these yourself, you can head on over to eBay and just search International Trading Day Tops 2023. If you're after the F1 stuff, that is. Uh, they haven't done it up until this year, so this is the first time I've done it. But what's interesting is that the uh, the card that's the most sought after card, I thought it'd be Max Verstappen, but it's not. It's actually that man you see at the top there, Oscar Piastri. And that's because when you look up the checklist online, it actually quotes this as being his rookie card. So this is one of Oscar Piastri's first officially licensed rookie cards. So I noticed when I was looking through all the lists, I was trying to buy one of every single one of this, which I, I almost have, but Oscar Piastri was sold out everywhere. And I was thinking, oh, God damn it, I've missed out on that. How did I miss that? So in the end, I bought the sealed box because I thought, well, that way I'm guaranteed to get an Oscar Piastri. And I'll make a YouTube video about it. So let's open these up. Some people have even sent these off to be graded. So I've seen a few graded ones. And I think they grade pretty well, to be honest. Um, so we got Oscar Piastri. Nico Hulkenberg. we got Kevin Magnussen. Hey, Max Verstappen. Yuki Tsunoda. And then we've got a uh, promo card for tops. So I don't know. I thought these would be set. I thought it was a set collection. I didn't think there was all different ones in there. Nico, Kevin, Max, Yuki again, Esteban Ocon. So that one had Ocon instead of Oscar Piastri. That's a bit odd. I thought I was going to be able to show you guys the whole set. Now it's added a bit of jeopardy to it. Ooh, we don't. Hey, Lewis Hamilton. We don't know if we're going to hit the full set now. So we got Aston Martin, Lando. Means I might end up with some duplicates like Lando there. We've got Charles Leclerc, Logan Sargent. Again, this is gonna be one of his first rookie cards, although it hasn't got the little rookie card logo on it. it does say on there, first season in F1. Pretty cool. Alpha Room, uh, Zhou Guang Yu. We got Nick DeReeves, obviously Nick DeReeves. Now it seems like a, a time ago that he was actually in F1. Obviously been booted out, replaced. Sergio Perez, Bottas, another Lewis. I didn't realize I'd have all these spares and duplicates actually. Maybe I'll put them on my website. So make sure you check out hammondshobbies.com if you want to purchase any of these duplicates i didn't know this was going to happen i don't know why i just thought in my head oh if it comes in a sealed box it must be like a set set you know what i mean like it'll be set i thought i'd get one of each f1 and then a bunch of baseball bunch of nfl i didn't think it was all random packs yuki sonoda have we got the whole teams yet no we're still missing gasly we're missing signs. Missing Albons. We are missing quite a few. So it, the pack seem to be set by person. So I've never opened one with Perez at the front. So let's try that one. Come on, Perez. Very odd. Very odd how these are situated, like how they're organized. I don't know why. 
Nico, Magnuson, Verstappen, Ocon. Oh my God, come on. I thought I'd have the whole set. Easy peasy, I thought easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Bottas, Lewis, I'm getting the same guys over and over again. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go online now and buy, <laughs> buy individual ones. This is very disappointing. Very disappointing. Bottas, Lewis, oh no. No! <laughs> I'm not gonna get Carlos Sainz, Gasly, and Albon. I'm getting the same ones over and over again. Love pack. Love pack magic. Logan, no, Joe Grand you, Nick DeReeves, George Russell. Oh, well, there you go. I bought that whole box. <laughs> now I have actually, I am, I'm gonna personally be able to complete the whole set because I've already bought one of every single driver. The only one I couldn't get hold of was Oscar Piastri and we've just pulled about three of them. So this is the international trading day. Uh, I think this is something that you wanna keep an eye out for probably each year, every August. So keep an eye out for these, say for next August, uh, and hopefully they are um, do F1 drivers again in those. Uh, I have to say though, when I read on the checklist online, which you can view online, the full checklist for the whole set, um, obviously for F1, it's just the 20 drivers, it does say on there Logan Sargent and beside it says rookie card, but I don't see any rookie logo like the little RC logo anywhere. Um, so that says to me that it's not considered a rookie card. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think their rookie cards have to feature the RC logo or is it just any card they're featured in? I'd love to hear your thoughts, comment down below. But that's it from me. That's the International Trading Day card set. What do you guys think of this set? It's a bit like flagship, um, but they seem like they're on quite nice quality card actually. Um, and the, the ink, like the way the pictures are printed look good quality as well. I quite like them. I like the full portrait body shots of them. Um, but yeah, there you go. So the main one that I was mainly after today was Oscar Piastri, and I managed to pull two of them. So we got two Oscar Piastris, which I'm actually creating an Oscar Piastri binder at the moment. I'll do a separate video for that. But that's it from me, guys. If you've enjoyed that content, make sure you smash up the like button. Also click subscribe if you're new to this channel, and make sure that you follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all under the name Hammond's Hobbies. You can also follow the Facebook group, which has over 3,000 members under the name F1 Sports Cards. And if you want to purchase any individual cards, then you can head on over to HammondsHobbies.com. That's it from me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.